Good day, chemist in Japan de gozaimasu. Well, I've mentioned previously that I was going to post some videos on NMR, and I recorded them and determined that they were not fit for viewing, and so I decided to scrap that and start again. Um, unfortunately, I've been very busy lately, but another thing that occurred that kind of slowed me down was that um, uh, the department received its new uh, new spectrometer, 400 megahertz NMR spectrometer, and it was installed recently, and um, so I was able to take some video uh, of the vid of it being set up. Specifically, the um, the the magnet is a superconducting magnet magnet, and it must be kept at um, four Kelvin, four degrees above absolute zero, so that it is superconducting. Well, um, when it's shipped from the factory, it doesn't have liquid helium in it, so it has to be filled, and um, the magnet is inside of what we call a can because it's made of aluminum and it resembles a can um, and it's inside there and um, it has to be filled up with uh, liquid helium and liquid nitrogen to keep it very cold so um, when the first installer came to um, to set up the magnet and to energize the magnet I was able to take some video now, I took uh, video primarily for my own uses it was never really meant for YouTube viewing, um, uh, primarily because it's difficult to tell the installer, um, stop what you're doing and step out of the way so I can take some video. I can't really, you know, tell him to stop what he's doing. Um, <clears throat> so what I did was I went through the, the video footage that I captured and uh, pieced it together here and all the little pieces that didn't have other people in, in the shot. Um, I didn't want to show them um, on YouTube. Um, actually, there is one person, uh, a, a co-worker of mine, he's in, in the shot for 5.6 seconds, and I uh, got his permission to go ahead and include that, but what you're going to see coming, what you're going to see after this is basically just a bunch of clips. It's not uh, edited very well, they're just kind of run together, it's going to be jumpy, but these are all of the clips that I had where there are no people or faces in the, in view, and um, I'm not going to really have much explanation. I might later add annotations, um, but the first part is the first filling, filling it up from empty, cooling everything down. Then the next day, um, once everything had settled, uh, the the engineer came back and energized the magnet. And the reason that that's important is that during energizing, when you're energizing the magnet it has the opportunity to quench, which means it, it heats up and stops being a magnet and, and a whole bunch of liquid, he all the liquid helium gets boiled off and everything. Um, it's not a very good situation, and it happens sometimes. So um, I was there to record some stuff for that. Um, but anyway, so this is, the, um, this is all the footage that I am able to show on YouTube. I wish I could show more, uh, but unfortunately I can't. So... Um, Anyway, this is a little bit of NMR stuff. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, as usual.
oxygen sensor. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, that's good. What's the flow rate? That's good. That's 4.5 psi. I'll put it in the next one. The magnet is not going to quench, so don't worry. Okay. Not one. It's quench today. It's not even energized today. <laughs> it's better quench today. It's better quench today. <laughs> So going in there is liquid helium. Coming out there is the gas helium. Coming out there is the gas nitrogen. And going in here is the liquid nitrogen. Coming out there is gas nitrogen. Ready, cringe. Any minute. Oh, I've got the tape running. This tape has 40 minutes left on it. That's about as much time as I have left here. So, you know, 